Hey guys, uh, gosh, I really hope this take is like less than four minutes because I don't know what to do. I've got to go for a run. My cloud cover is coming and going. Um, hello, how was your May? Lockdown crazy? Yes, it was. So I'm still working and still running. I was a bit tired last week with work and run, uh, running all ramping up around the time of the month. So I felt like I'd been hit by a bus, but but a small bus, not the big bus, you know, uh, a smallish bus, like a minivan, you know, not like a double decker bus. So I had two days of rest. Thank you, coach. And I had no workouts last week. And this week we're back to workouts. So today will be workout day two. So I thought I would let you guys know what I'm using for my regular runs and also what I'm using to fuel my workouts. So picky bars. I got cinnamon rolling up front because I really like it. But yeah, I've got packs of five that I bought from Energy Snacks UK. And I've got Performance Oats as well, which I also got from Energy Snacks UK, who are the only UK um, importers for uh, picky bars. So yeah, that's really great. I have tried all the flavors now of the picky bars. I've only tried one Performance Oat this morning, the Game Set Matcha. And I'll let you know how that goes at the workout. But basically, what I wanted to do was have a more natural whole food based way of fueling my runs, even my recovery runs, um, and not having the ups and downs and spikes of energy and sugar spikes and crashes that energy gels can give. We um, finished, I finished fasting for 30 days uh, about a week ago, so that was Ramadan, but I'm Christian, so I was just doing it in support of my Muslim colleagues and friends. Uh, but I was doing the Christian fasting uh, method, which is midnight till 6 p.m. So around 6 p.m. I would drink my water and electrolytes, and I would eat a picky bar. Then I would wait a little bit, maybe 30 minutes, maybe more or less. Then I'd go for my run. And I have found that the picky bars have been enough to get me all the way through the run. Now, this is not to say that I don't have runs that struggle. I still struggle with some runs this week. I'm having, I'm back to having my six days a week of running. And Thursday, I was so tired from work, I had a nap as soon as I got back home. It took forever to get out of bed after that 35-minute nap. And um, and I went on the run, and it was stop-start the whole way through. But at least I was well-fueled. I think what I needed was to have water with me. So what I started doing is, yesterday I went on a run, I carried some water, about uh, 250 mils of water with me, uh, with electrolytes in it, and that helped. That really helped. Um, by the time I was, uh, I'd done my turnaround for the run, it was a seven mile run. By the time I was over halfway, maybe even four miles into the run, I had finished drinking my water, but it had had the effect I wanted because I had enough water on board to speed up for the rest of the run. I'm really pleased with that. Uh, other things in the news this week, Boston Marathon is officially canceled at the end of this week. I am not heartbroken because I think they made the right choice and I was not ready even as of March to run the race and I was worried about logistics of getting to Boston and having a place to stay and also running with 40,000 plus people during just after a coronavirus pandemic. So I think they've made the right choice. We'll see what else comes from that. But in the meantime, let's keep going. Right. I'm going to see you guys later. Oh my God, we did it. I did a short video. Oh man, I'm going for a run.